I'm all ready to fly to Twin Forks. Hi there. I'm all ready to fly to Twin Forks. <laughs> Steve. Huh? Uh, I'm ready to fly to Twin Forks. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I can't make it today. Oh, that, that's okay. Well, I knew you were looking forward to it, but, well, something came up. Oh, really, it doesn't matter. I don't want to be one of those difficult wives like I was last night. You're a good kid. Honey? Hmm? What came up so that we can't make it? Well, we still have that pact of everything above board and always tell the truth to one another? Well, sure, it'll always be that way. And because of this relationship, we'll never have a fight? Oh, yes, dear, yes. Well, the reason we're not going to dinner and to a show is because of Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe! Now, honey. <laughs> it's the same excuse you used last night. Yeah, but the poor guy's really in trouble. Oh, how can he be in so much trouble that we can't go out? The shady rest is filled with hornets. <laughs> hornets? You mean you gave him our good money to invest in hornets? I didn't give him our good money to invest in hornets. Besides, your mother gave us back the money. Oh, that's not the point. Why did you go ahead and do all this behind my back? It wasn't behind your back. Ah, you admit it. <laughs> admit what? Oh, boy. You never really get to know a man until after you're married to him. <laughs> Stick with it, Bobby Joe. We've only got 40,000 more to go. <laughs> Girls, I'll be right back. I'm going over to the Pixie Hotel and make arrangements for our guests and ourselves. You mean we're going to have to move out? Well, somebody's going to have to move, and since it's not the Hornets, it's going to have to be us. Mom! Don't argue. If you want to stay, you get out your sleeping bag, zip it clear to the top with you in it. <laughs> by getting rid of the hornet. Well, did he? It's hard to tell with all the smoke. We think we heard him coughing. <laughs> Uncle Joe! Uncle Joe! He didn't want us to tell you, so act surprised when he tells you. As soon as I can speak, I will. <laughs> Hi, Kate. <laughs> oh, Uncle Joe, for heaven's sake, if you don't stop sneaking up on me in those disguises, I'm gonna have heart failure. <laughs> Oh, for heaven's sake. We're in this room together, Kate, and I got the situation well under control. Where's Steve? I thought he was going to help you. Well, the boy came over here, and he meant well, but he kept talking about using this regular fumigating powder. And I figured, why waste all that money? So I went down and picked up three dozen of them high-waist uh, smudge pots for 29 cents a piece. <laughs> oh, no. He had them all over the hotel, Mom. It's really awful. Yeah, it's a little hazy in there, all right. When you put on one of these war surplus masks, you don't notice a thing. Except when you're walking around in an army surplus gas mask. I got a good deal on them by the gross. The way I look at it, we can issue each of our guests a complimentary gas mask. Ought to make a good conversation piece. I have registered the guests at the Pixie Hotel. Oh, good. When do we move? Not us, just the guests. They won't have us, will they, Uncle Joe? Are they still sore? Wouldn't you be? Kate, I was only trying to drum up business for the Shady Ranch. Well, fine. But did you have to go around saying that the Pixie Hotel was a front for a Chinese opium den? Only joking. Joking? They chased me halfway down Main Street. Come to think of it, though, they did throw fried rice at me. <laughs> what are we going to do, Mom? Well, we can't stay here. Let's get up to the hotel and start packing our things. I'll go, Joe. Can you find our way out of here? Uh, let's see. The cannonball is that way. The water tower is this way. That should be... No, that's not right. Congratulations, Uncle Joe. I didn't think you could do it. What? You've lost the shady rest. <laughs> Oh, come on, Betty Joe. at least come out and talk this thing over. There's nothing to talk about. Oh, oh for, look, this whole thing is a big... <laughs> it's a big mistake. It all started out when we got on that silly always-tell-the-truth kick. Oh, you'd rather have us lie to each other. I don't mean that. Good. It's just that if I'd have told... <laughs> if I'd have told you that I lost the $25 instead of spending it on fumigating powder... You spent it on fumigating powder? 
I didn't tell you about that, did I? <laughs> no, you didn't. Well, yeah, you see, when I saw Uncle Joe having all that trouble with the hornets, I figured something should be done, so I went out and I bought a fumigating powder. Why didn't you just let Uncle Joe work it out for himself? Oh, he is. He doesn't even need my help. Oh! Are you trying to tell me that we're stuck with $25 worth of fumigating powder? I'm not trying to tell you anything. It just slipped out. So you were going to keep it from me. Yes, I was. You see, I don't happen to believe that a marriage is built on blabbing everything out. Steve Ellen, how do we said we'd always tell each other everything, and that way we'd never have a fight? Wrong. One, you were the one that said we'd always tell each other everything. And two, I don't know what you call this, but to me, it doesn't sound exactly like a panel discussion. Well, if that's the way you feel, maybe this was all just a mistake. Maybe I ought to just go home. Promises, promises. But you don't think I would? You still want the truth? Yes. No. Oh, well. <laughs> Hey, dirty pool, you were already packed. <laughs> Hello, honey. Mom. Uh, hi, Betty Jo. Steve. Uh, hi. Bob. Uncle Joe. Are you going someplace? Oh, uh, no. I was just going to put this in the basement. Well, you got a basement. Oh, that's right. We forgot to dig one. <laughs> Sweetheart, we don't have a basement. That's right, sweetheart. So why don't I try to find some room for this in the closet, mm. okay? <laughs> so thoughtful. Uh -huh. Honey, you want us to leave? Oh, Mom, why? Yeah, Kate. Okay. We ain't got any place to stay while they're fumigating the hotel. Gee, Betty Joe, we just hate barging in on your newlyweds like this. Yeah, we just hate it. Oh, they won't bother us. Oh, Joe, that's not the idea. Now, Betty Jo, you might say Excuse we're me. welcome, but... But around here we tell nothing but the truth, right, Betty Jo? Uh, right. So, if you want to know if you're welcome, the answer is yes. Oh. <laughs> right, honey? Right. And if there's anything any of you want, just speak up. How about dinner? Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. Holy smokes, telling the truth around here could get a guy murdered. You're telling me. <laughs> Kids, I want to apologize. The one thing I didn't want to do was invade your privacy, and here we all are. Mom, we're glad you're here because, well, I have a confession to make. When you came in, I was about to leave. And I was about to let her. And we realized that was about the dumbest thing that could have happened. So actually, we're grateful that you did come over. Very grateful. Oh, that's okay, kids. Always glad to help out. <laughs> Junction. Junction.